Hi hey guys, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're gonna take a walk around a QSA Power Tilt Car Hauler. Shown here is a 7x20, 9,900 pound GVW trailer. This unit is available in different lengths, but this is the most common size and weight rating trailer. So let's take a walk around, show you all the standard features. Starting out up front, you've got a 2 and 5 16th adjustable ball. You've got a drop leg jack. If you're not familiar with the drop leg jack, there's an inner leg that would drop down to the ground by releasing the pin, and then the outer sleeve there uh, would go up and down via the top one jack. Notice that jack is a easily replaceable uh, bolt-on setup. Also notice the wiring's all grommeted, reinforced, and ran in frame. So this unit is a power-up, power-down setup. You'll notice that from the dual solenoid. Group 24 deep cycle marine battery in line uh, fuse. Gas shock in the toolbox makes it nice. It's also a lockable box. You've got your remote cord with fob, and then you've got your disconnect. On these, you'll notice they do a, a dual prong connector with a standard seven pin plug found on uh, most modern vehicles. So D rings are standard equipment make it nice for for tying down the front end of your car you also notice behind the toolbox uh, i really like this setup the uh, factory winch plate built in and since it's right next to the the toolbox and the battery uh, you can pull power right off that battery all sealed beam led lights standard trailer is also powder coated uh, so again d rings are standard and then uh, you also the, you got the front rings and then the side rings and you also notice stake pockets and then one thing we add to this particular unit would be the rub rail so this gives you a lot more uh, tie down options fenders on these are removable you'll notice they're a tread plate uh, set up with a radius fender got the integrated fender gusset no tools required just uh, turn on turn off now, one thing we like about this trailer, it's actually built on the same chassis as their 14K. Uh, so it's got a six inch tube uh, tongue. And then we still call this a power tilt car hauler uh, simply because it's a two frame trailer. You basically have your tongue and then you've got your main frame with a hinge point as opposed to a tri frame, which we would call an equipment tilt, would be a triple frame. So it'd be like this, only you would have a uh, an inner bed frame uh, and on an equipment tilt it's a little bit different than this uh, basically both tires stay on the ground the car hauler tilt we would define by having a two frame and then the uh, front axle will pick up a little bit whenever you load now another thing to know in this particular unit besides it's what we would call a very a fairly heavy built uh, 10k car hauler again built on the 14k chassis this almost borderlines on more of an equipment trailer so it's one of the few trailers that kind of fits in two categories for us. Uh, this is a 20, but actually uh, you're going to end up with about 21 foot. Part of this knife edge back here does not count. Uh, what you're going to find, it's got about 18 foot of lumber. Uh, the tail amounts to about three foot, and only two of the three foot of the tail counts. So your breakdown here is about 18 of wood, three foot of tail. It's about 21 total on the deck, even though this is considered a 20 foot trailer. It's all sealed beam LED lights. Of course, you got your D-ring at the back. Tapers down to probably an inch and a half thick uh, at the rear, so you can load most of your fairly uh, low cars. And again, something like this, you can even get into your, your light equipment. So a 5,200-pound axle is going to be a six-bolt. It's got a 225-75 R15 eight-ply radial tire. Uh, that's on a silver mod wheel, six on five and a half. This has a newer style Ford adjusting brakes. And you also notice it's got the black uh, cap at the end of the axle. Uh, behind there would be a greaser, so a homeowner uh, just with a grease gun and a flat bladed screwdriver to peel that black cap off uh, can service the bearings on this. So this is a power tilt. It's not available in a manual. We do have other brands that we carry manual tilts in. Uh, this one for a power is definitely a nice unit. So I'll do it one more time here about a three second cycle time on this empty trailer so again saw the winch plate right underneath the winch plates this year release so this is not only hydraulically locked 
It's actually a pin as well. So again, power up, power down, hydraulics. So even though this is a, uh, even though this is a car hauler, a lot of car haulers would get uh, Angwire cross members. These are actually junior high beam cross members. Pretty crazy for a for a trailer this small, uh, small and light to have a junior high beam. Normally, it's something you'd see on an air brake trailer or something like that. Normally, a uh, miniature version of the I beams that be on those. So again, what we find impressive on this. Uh, normally most of your car hauler tilts your pivot point would be right about there This one actually wraps all the way back tilts farther back uh, Another thing we like this is actually got a hinge outside and inside a lot of them will just hinge maybe on one side It's also got a grease zert at your hinge point Again it knife edges down so you can load most any of your cars said earlier these fenders are removable so your standard reveal on this trailer is going to be about six and a half or so inches it looks like you take the fender off uh normally you got about three to four inches clearance you're only going to have about maybe three three and a half inches of tire if that i don't even think it's that much uh past the deck height so if you take the fender off you can fork stuff on from the side As with most tilts, your tongue's going to lengthen. A lot of times, tongues are going to be about three and a half foot. Uh, this one here, you're probably in about a foot. So on a tilt trailer to get the load angle right, you're going to slide your axle a little bit farther forward from normal. And then to get your tongue weights uh, back about where they should be, you're going to lengthen your tongue roughly a foot. And again, it'll, it'll give you a little bit more tongue weight than normal just because uh, you've got the battery and the toolbox up front uh, but lengthening that, that tongue gives you about the right balance on the trailer so again this is a 20 foot 10k by far and away our most common uh, configuration on this particular unit it is available in other sizes in gvws if you have any questions on this feel free to give us a ring at 717-220 4220 or you can visit us on the web at www.bestchoicetrailers.com